we have just gotten our hands on leaked data about Tesla's upcoming Model 2 batteries, and let me tell you, this is the kind of insider information that Elon Musk himself might not want you to see. The question on everyone's mind is simple but electrifying. Is Tesla really about to revolutionize the affordable Model 2, which they aim to launch at just $25,000, by experimenting with not one but two different cutting-edge battery technologies? On one side we have aluminum ion and on the other sodium ion. Both sound promising, both sound futuristic, but only one could define the future of Tesla's cheapest and most talked about car. The big question is, which one will give you the longest range, the fastest charging, the safest ride, and the best balance of affordability and durability? And more importantly, what do these batteries mean for you, the driver, when it comes to your daily city commute or even a long road trip across states? Stick with me because we are about to break down the leaked specs, the rumors around performance, and the real-world implications of aluminum ion versus sodium ion batteries. By the time this video wraps up, you will know which battery could truly define the future of Tesla's most affordable electric vehicle. You are watching Torque Element, the channel that delivers Tesla news and analysis you simply will not find anywhere else. Fast, sharp, and focused on what really matters to drivers like you. If you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and smash that button and tap the bell because we are building a strong community here. Help us cross 2,000 subscribers today and become part of the insiders who follow every Tesla move before anyone else even gets a glimpse. Now let's jump into the meat of it. What exactly makes aluminum ion and sodium ion batteries strong contenders for the 2026 Tesla Model 2? Well, according to what has been leaked, Tesla is not just testing small tweaks to existing lithium-ion cells. No, they are reportedly pushing the limits of two radically different battery technologies at the same time, and both could change the way we think about range, charging, safety, and cost in the electric vehicle world. Let us start with aluminum-ion because this one sounds like something out of a sci-fi playbook. The aluminum-ion battery, sometimes nicknamed Allian, is described in the leaked documents as a next-generation development from Tesla's top engineers. And its biggest promise? Ultra-fast charging. We are talking about charging speeds so fast they make today's superchargers look sluggish. Early lab tests suggest that an Allian pack could charge up to 80% in just about 10 minutes. Compare that to the 30 to 40 minutes you need right now for Tesla's best lithium-ion long-range packs, and you start to realize how insane that improvement is. Imagine pulling into a charging station, grabbing a coffee, and before you even finish it, your car is ready to hit the road again. But it does not stop there. Range estimates for aluminum ion are off the charts. The same leaked files claim a single pack could deliver as much as 1,000 miles of driving on one charge. Yes, you heard that correctly. 1,000 miles. That is roughly one and a half times the distance you get from today's Tesla Model 3 long-range battery. If those numbers hold up outside of the lab, this is the kind of leap that could erase range anxiety for good. And then there is the matter of lifespan. Internal whispers point to a usable life of 27 years or more than 10,000 full charge cycles. Just think about that. Most electric cars today are built around battery packs expected to last roughly 8 to 10 years before noticeable degradation. A battery lasting over two decades? That is a generational shift. Some people might even end up passing their Tesla down like a family heirloom before the battery gives out. Safety is another area where aluminum ion really flexes. According to simulated crash tests, when an aluminum ion cell is punctured, the temperature rarely rises above 120 degrees Celsius. Compare that to lithium packs, which can soar into the terrifying range of 500 to 600 degrees Celsius during thermal runaway, and you begin to see why this could be a game changer. Fires, explosions, and the kinds of risks we have seen with lithium-ion could be dramatically reduced. But let's slow down because of course nothing is perfect. Aluminum-ion's weaknesses are not hidden. Its volumetric energy density is lower than lithium-ion, meaning the packs need to be slightly larger to deliver the same range. On top of that, production costs are still high, mainly because the materials involved, like aluminum-titanium alloys, are expensive and require precision assembly lines that are not cheap to run. In other words, the technology is brilliant, but scaling it for millions of cars will not be simple or cheap. So what about sodium ion? 
Why is Tesla even looking at it when aluminum ion seems like the dream battery? The answer lies in cost and scalability. Sodium ion packs are built on sodium, which is abundant and inexpensive compared to lithium and certainly cheaper than aluminum ion's exotic alloys. That makes sodium ion an appealing candidate if Tesla's main goal is to crank out the Model 2 at a true mass market price of $25,000 while still keeping profit margins intact. Performance-wise, sodium ion is not bad, but it does not hit the same highs as aluminum ion. Energy density for sodium ion is moderate, usually somewhere between 160 to 180 watt-hours per kilogram. Compare that to a typical lithium-ion cell that delivers 250 to 270, or an aluminum-ion pack estimated at 220, and sodium comes in on the lower side. Translation? Adequate for daily city driving, short commutes, and even some regional trips, but not the kind of battery you would rely on for a thousand-mile road journey without several recharges along the way. Charging speed is also slower. Reports from third-party labs in Australia and China suggest sodium ion can take anywhere from 60 to 90 minutes for a full charge under fast charging conditions. Not terrible but definitely not jaw-dropping. Lifespan is also shorter, clocking in at roughly 3,000 to 5,000 full cycles before noticeable degradation. That is below aluminum ion but comparable to today's entry-level lithium packs. Here's where things get interesting. Sodium ion, despite its weaker performance metrics, might still be the smarter choice for Tesla if the goal is sheer volume. Imagine Tesla pumping out tens of thousands of Model 2 units every single month, all priced affordably, all using sodium ion packs that keep costs low while still delivering decent performance. That is how you dominate the urban EV market. So let me throw the question back to you. Which would you choose for your Tesla Model 2 if you had the option? Would you go for the speed, range, and insane durability of aluminum ion, or would you rather save money with sodium ion and accept slower charging and shorter lifespan? Drop a comment with the word aluminum if you lean that way or sodium if affordability is more your vibe. And if you think there is a third option Tesla should be exploring, tell me what that is too. Now, let us dig deeper into the direct comparison. Aluminum ion shines brightest under heavy loads and sustained performance. Leaked documents hint that after hundreds of thousands of kilometers of highway driving at consistent speeds, we are talking about 120 kilometers per hour for 400,000 kilometers straight. Aluminum ion packs still retain over 85% of their discharge efficiency. That is a level of resilience lithium ion and sodium ion can only dream of. Sodium ion, on the other hand, starts to fade when the conditions get extreme. Hot summer highways, extended high-speed driving, and long road trips are not where sodium ion performs best. You will see a gradual capacity fade, a small dip in acceleration, and in some cases, a 10-15% to loss of performance as the battery discharges toward lower levels. Not a deal-breaker for city drivers, but definitely noticeable for people who want to push their cars to the limit. The driving experience reflects this difference. With aluminum ion, your Tesla Model 2 keeps giving you reliable acceleration even when the battery drops below 20%. You do not get that sluggish feeling or reduced response on a steep incline or when merging onto a highway. Sodium ion vehicles, meanwhile, may feel slightly underpowered in those situations. Maintenance is another important factor. Aluminum ion packs, thanks to their rugged build, reduce the need for frequent service. Tesla could extend recalibration intervals, cut down thermal system checks, and give owners more peace of mind. Sodium ion, while easier to replace and cheaper to build, will likely need midterm replacements after those 3 to 5,000 cycles. That could add modest costs over a 10-year ownership period. And then we have the environmental and logistical side. Aluminum ion is expensive to produce because of the specialized alloys and the precision assembly required. That slows down scalability. Sodium ion, in contrast, is simple, cheap, and easy to produce at scale. The raw material, sodium, is everywhere, and the lower energy demands for production make it easier for Tesla to ramp up factories quickly. Looking forward, Tesla's strategy seems pretty clear. If the Model 2 is all about affordability, sodium ion will lead the charge. If it is about durability and premium performance at a slightly higher price, 
aluminum ion could be offered as a premium variant. Think of it like Tesla giving you two different trim levels, one for budget buyers and one for performance lovers. So what will Tesla actually do? Leaked projections suggest they are already running large-scale endurance and climate simulations for both battery types. That means rapid cycling in sub-zero conditions, extended high-speed driving in hot weather, and basically stress testing these packs to see which one holds up better under real-world abuse. The bottom line is this. Whether Tesla goes with the cost-effective sodium ion or the high-performance aluminum ion, the company is clearly committed to delivering a Model 2 that meets the needs of both city drivers and long-distance travelers. This dual-path testing shows Tesla is not just chasing hype. They are serious about matching battery technology to driver profiles and market demands. Now here is the million-dollar question. Will Tesla choose the wallet-friendly sodium ion to flood the streets with affordable EVs, or will they roll out a premium aluminum ion variant that sets a new standard for safety and durability? We do not know for certain yet, but the leaks make one thing obvious. Tesla is betting big on both technologies and whichever way they go, the Model 2 could redefine what an electric car priced at $25,000 can really do. So what about you? Which would you choose for your daily commute, your road trips? or your weekend getaways. Do you value affordability more, or do you want a battery that could outlive the car itself? Could aluminum ion turn Tesla's cheapest EV into something that feels like a premium ride? Let me know your take in the comments. If you found this breakdown useful, hit that like button and make sure you are subscribed to Torque Element. Tap the bell so you do not miss the next insider leak. And remember, we are on our way to 2,000 subscribers. Join the community today and stay ahead of the curve as we continue to follow every twist and turn in Tesla's bold race to define the future of electric driving.